you, 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 you must have a lot of focus on bringing the right types of people into the company with the, the capital that you've raised, the growth plans that you have. How do you f identify the right kind of talent and, and how hard is that right now in, 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 the, in the life of the company? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, second to uh, raising money, it's probably one of my core roles in the company. Uh, and it's interesting. I, uh, I focus on uh, one objective in identifying the right people, and it's all about culture. Hmm. Uh, and I focus on trying to understand uh, who they are as individuals. If somebody isn't adaptive, isn't a great collaborator, uh, doesn't have a learning mindset, Frankly, you know, I just don't think they have a place in our company. So for me, that's the – and, you know, because I make the assumption that uh, most people that we interview are really smart. So, you know, being really smart isn't an advantage. The advantage is can you take that, those smarts and do something really great with those smarts in a team environment? And if you can do that, again, great. Uh, your other question is, so, you know, how easy or hard is it to find people like this? Uh, you know, I've been um, scared and then pleasantly surprised, right? So along the way, every time we've seen the plan for headcount growth, I mean, we have a very simple model that says, based on our history of developing the microbe, we know that it takes X number of people to do X number of experiments over X number of time to get uh, X level of yield improvement, which gets to your cost. Pretty simple. Uh, and obviously, we're always trying to make it more efficient, right? How do we get more out of what we have so that it doesn't take as many turns? Uh, so we've got a model then for headcount growth that tracks to that model that then gets to our cost target by the middle of 2009. When I first looked at the headcount growth, I thought, there's, just, there's no way we're going to do it. You know, it was like at the beginning or at the end of last year, uh, we had targeted, you know, in the first quarter of this year, uh, or the first half of this year, we were going to grow the company by 70 people or 80 people. And I thought, you just can't do that. We're not going to be able to find all those people. Because th this is, by the way, December going into January, and we hadn't found any of them. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, there's just no way. And so I, I, it was funny. I had a December board meeting, and I decided to tell the board that, you know, that we're going to hire in a range. <laughs> uh, and I gave them a pretty big range to just to ensure that, you know, we could deliver on the low end because I thought there's no way we're going to get there. And sure enough, we're... I think the VCs call this sandbagging. Sandbagging. Yeah. Uh, I never sandbag. It's really... Uh, it was just it's trying... About broadening the target. Right, yeah. broadening the target. Yeah. No question. Uh, but, you know, we've done it. And we've done it because I think a key factor of our ability to attract people is actually having an exciting project to work on. There's no question that the malaria project has, you know, paid back a million-fold already just in the quality of people and the energy it creates inside of our company. So I'm, I'm just excited about getting to the point of saving lives because you add that with the kind of, kind of people we're attracting. And, you know, anybody that asks me, you know, why would you give it away? The question I have is why wouldn't you? Just the right thing to do.